Green Summoners, Invader Sive here. Welcome to another episode of League of Legends Point of View. Today we'll be playing a normal rank game, I mean a normal draft game as Renekton. As always, my runes and masteries will be in the description of this video. And I decided to start with boots and three health potions. My let's look here. The the team consists of Cyber and Tarek Bot. We got Vladimir mid, Jungle Shaco, and myself as top lane Renekton. And our enemies are uh, we got oh pretty weird setup here. They don't have an AD, so it's probably gonna be Jarban and Leona bot, Shen top, Swain mid, and Jung Jungle Mundo. Since I do see that most of their damage is AD, I will be building armor and the like later on. Maybe I'll get, uh, since it's most likely Shen, I will be getting our Wriggles. So I can farm up and keep healing myself. And, uh, well, let's talk about Renekton a little bit. I've already played him before, but that game really, really didn't count because I was versus someone who disconnected. So I'm gonna play this again. So Renekton is an AD Bruiser. He is completely cooldown based, but he also has an additional mechanic, which is he has a fury meter. Which once you got 50 fury or more, it feels, it gives a secondary or additional damage or utility to your abilities. So your passive pretty much uh, is telling you that you gain fury. That's the, pretty much your passive, and from there on, you got your your Q, which is called the meat, and it's a pretty nice ability. It's an AOE damage ability that heals you and also charges up your rage meter quite well. I like to take this at level one or at level two, depending on who I'm fighting, because your next ability is your W. Your W is a multi-hit ability that stuns the target. Oh, there we go. There's the the gank. Yeah, I had to burn my flash here, but yeah, I was expecting that, but I should have gotten my stun, and, and I wouldn't need to burn my flash there. Yeah, there goes the another gank. Let's see if he comes back again. <laughs> so right now, um, maybe he won't. I'm not sure. And even if, even if he does... I should be fine here. Got the minions on my side. Okay, so your W, like I said, it's uh, it stuns, and when you got additional fury, it stuns for a, uh, uh, I believe, the same duration, but it does more damage, a lot more damage. And from there, you got your E. Your E is a dash ability that ha that can be, I can dash twice if you hit an enemy the first time you use it. So I'm gonna get that now in case I need to like jump away if I get ganked. You see the damage I can do real quick there, and thanks to my W, I gain a lot of HP back. There he had to back up because I will, be, I will be doing a lot of damage to him. A really good combo you can do is you can dash forward, stun them, use your Q on them, and then head back, and you would take no damage at all. Now Mundo might come here on top again because I am pushing rather hard, but... Even if he does, I should be able to, to get away. I, I gotta be careful here not to get taunted by Shen. Let's see if I can hit this Shen. Yeah, there we go. He missed the last hit there. And I'll let the minions push a little bit, and I'll be harassing him. Oh. He dashed just as I was stunning him. A good build you can do with him is uh, go straight to the Wriggles. And you can get really good uh, lane sustain. But you can also build two Doran's Blades early on. So you can ju you just have lane dominance through your damage and lifesteal. 
You see there, I'm still doing my combo, like I said. It's extremely good. And it really uh, gets people off guard, uh, because they don't think you can do that much burst damage, but you can. Okay, so I'm gonna be heading back here real quick. Oh wait, I'll just farm one more wave and I'll be getting level 6. Uh, I'll get enough for a couple of wards and a few items I need for my wriggles. Since I see Mundo is still mid, I can I can do this. There's another thing I, I didn't... I didn't tell you, I like to put my Q on smart cast, which I will do in a little bit. I mean my E, my dash, I like it to be on smart cast. I'll do it right now, actually. Yeah, it's really nice to, like, dash. You can do real quick dashes with it. There is no like there, for example. Oh, Mundo might be coming here. I don't see him in the map anymore. Let's see the farm real quick. 26 to 41. I'm beating almost by 35% the Shen. So it's all good. Doing very good here. If you keep auto attacking, you can keep your Fury pre up. So you should try and do that as much as possible. Oh, I mean, you should try and last hit, but what I mean is if you can uh, keep attacking so you can keep it up and not fall down, that's what you need to do. Renekton is also pretty good against Shen because if he tries to back up uh, with a teleport to save their teammates or something, you can stun him. There we go. Good amount of damage there. There goes Mundo. But I'm fine, I can actually fight him if I want it right now. And I can probably get a kill on the Shen too. Oh, never mind. I don't got my stun up. It's not worth it. not worth it. I'm probably gonna die. So your ultimate gives you a very health uh very uh, large health amount and then you get uh, start doing AoE damage with it. And look extremely strong. Because you gain 300 health. Okay, here comes the Swain. I'll just do a little bit more damage here. Oh, never mind, he backed up. So I'm gonna do damage to this and farm it up real quick. I like to max my W after my Q. But you can actually take the. Uh, your E first, if you well, a uh, uh, second if you like that. It all depends on your playstyle. So right now, like I said, I will be going for the Riggles Lantern, and I'm gonna be building some magic resist and uh, Mercury Treads for the taunt, the Shen taunt, and they actually have pretty decent CC there. Leona has a lot of stuns, and it's actually a pretty good item overall. The Mercury Treads, I mean. From Riggle's Lantern, I'm gonna build a Frozen Mallet, and from the most Frozen Mallet, I'll build an Atmos Impaler. Oh, get away! Oh, you can probably kill him before he kills you! Uh, nice try. He almost got away. Let's see if I can do some damage to the Shen here. Oh, he got away. I hate that dash. He got um, Ninja Tabbies. Because I am doing most of my damage is bursty from my abilities. I don't really need to auto attack much. There we go. A little bit of auto attacks there. He is very tanky though. He has almost as much armor as I do. That's fine, the damage I took I'm gonna be able to get it back with just one minion wave. So I'm gonna go, go ward a tribush here, and I'll go around so maybe he will think I warded the river. Okay, 
Okay, I'm losing my rage, so if I attack it once, I get it. I get back. There, com there comes Mundo. Like I said. He probably thought I, I warded the the river, so I'll, I'll be here a little bit longer and maybe he'll waste time. Yeah, he's wasting time here. There we go. Made him. I mean, I was I didn't fall back completely, so he thinks uh, that I don't know he, he's there. Just playing mind tricks here. He might go around though. You gotta be careful about that. His tower's almost gone too. But I don't really want to take it down yet. Since I'm doing pretty good on the farm, it's 80 versus 50 from him. A lot of tower damage there. Oop. Mm -hmm. All good. Okay, Mundo's bot, so I can definitely be more aggressive right now. I can't really dive and kill Shen. That's he's way, way too tanky for me. But I'll just regain my health here. Hopefully he will lose a lot of CS here. Nope. He's done a good job so far. Um. Just farm this up real quick. I might go for the kill here if I can. No, oh, it's gonna dash away if I if I try to be aggressive here. Okay, so I'm gonna head back now since I did see Swain coming top. There's Mundo and Swain, like I said, should be fine here. I, I don't I don't think they can catch me. And even if they dive me, I can probably get a kill. Nice, so we took top and bought towers there. That that single ward saved me two times. So, kudos ward. Some people have, have kept telling me that why do I buy additional wards when I have the Riddle's Lantern? Well... Uh, like I said in one of the comments, it's just extremely useful to have additional wards. For let's say you want to do Baron and your support is out of wards, you can just go ward yourself and just be able to secure an area. Oh. That's the most important part of having wards on you. I'm gonna go for the kill here. Maybe we can make something happen. Yeah, nice. Oh, Leona. Almost got my stun up, so I will be going in for the kill. This guy's dead. Kill flash. Oh, Jarban. Oh, potion. There we go. Ah, oh, that was a close one. Almost got an ace there. We should be taking their blue. Yeah. And I'll head back top after I farm this this part. I can't let that tower fall. It's still at full HP. Look how good you far you can farm all of this. Oh, so nice. That's a really great part of our Renekton. He has extremely good farming potential. Let's see the farm here. I got 
the highest farm in both teams. Um, Alamancy with Shaq is doing very good for kills so far, and I got two kills, three assists, no deaths, and pretty much we're dominating this game. Okay, so the Baron's up, and they could technically sneak in a Baron, so I'll put down a ward just for that, but I doubt it. They, they don't have the damage for it, but I, I've seen it happen before, so I'll just be playing on the safe side here. The, the, the best thing about Renekton is he does have that dash and a stun, and it pretty much just a very nice, he has an excellent kit in general, general. That's why he's such a good bruiser. The bad thing is he falls off pretty bad um, into the late game. He is not that strong unless you get fed or really farmed early on. But I don't think that's going to be a problem this game. Oh no. Oh, they did take two of us. No, why should I just take the top? We, we can't get in there in time. Yeah, I'm gonna take this, no problem. Yeah, I think we got two minion waves here and we can do a lot of damage to the tower. Oh, Elementi! Don't die. Also, your, your W resets your auto attack. They might go for the mid. They might come for me, actually. I will be heading back now. We got pretty good war coverage around that area. It's good because they wasted time coming up here. Okay, I got my giant spelt. And uh, again, let's look at the farm. Yeah, they're not doing very well on the farm. Mm -hmm. When when playing Shaco, you should pl play AD. Well, when, when jungling, AP is pretty hard to to master, and if you don't get early kills, you're pretty much screwed up. see if I can get them to come top again. Uh, I'll, in a little bit, I'll be warding the their jungle. Oh, never mind. He put up a ward for me. That that ward at that area is very helpful because it allows you to to see if they're coming to gank you. Nice. Oh, that Shen's very tanky right now. Has a lot of armor. That's uh, that's why Shen is so strong. His shield, and he has also very good sustain. He thought I left, so here I am. Good, good job, bot. In, if he taunted me, you see that I charge up my my stun beforehand, and in case he taunted me, I could just uh, uh, the auto attack would stun him. Oh, here comes Mundo. Oh crap! Uh, too much healing and shields. Fine. I can probably just go for top. Yeah, let's go for top. If these guys get initiated, though, they, they, they'll die. Yeah, there we go. That's the, that's what I'm talking about. Should not have been there. Oh, that's a good 
You could escape there. Oh! Come here. <laughs> oh. oh, so Tyrant has a killing spree too. That's nice. Come on, stun him! Stun him! Ah, oh, that was so close. Okay, we can... Yeah, they're gonna die this. Our stun is so strong. We got a lot of stuns here. If they, if they fight, we can beat this. Oh crap. No. They left me alone. I guess we don't have enough to fight them. Let's see what killed me. So it was mostly it was a healthy healthy mix of damage here what killed me so I'll be building uh, I kind of want to build a um, no I think I'll build armor and then I'll build magic resist oh you just farmed it up oh they're gonna just gonna get a kill here. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice fight there. That's doing a lot of damage to them. There we go. That's what we needed here. We can go for the. We can go directly to Baron here. The other cool thing about uh, building uh, Riggles is that, well, you have multiple Riggles in your team and you can take down Baron or. Or bragging real quick. Oh, never mind. There's the surrender boat. Okay, guys. Hopefully you like this game. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. I do daily uploads. And you can leave in the comments what champions you want to see next. And I'll do the best I can to get them up. Okay, thank you.